Now we're dealing with the Romanesque south of Milan, really, in modern-day Italy. And we see a lot of variation in Italy, more so than in any other region. And it's because they're heavily influenced by ancient Roman culture as well as early Christianity, because, of course, we're very near the seat of Christianity in Rome. We see a less experimental form, and a form that more closely resembles early basilica types. Where we're going to start is Pisa, which was a prosperous maritime city, and built their cathedral based on the spoils of naval victory over the Muslims. And in this case, this is a rare example of all three structures in a similar style. In Italy, oftentimes we will see the cathedral, and then the bell tower will be a separate structure, and the baptistry will also be separate. The baptistry is separate because it was believed that if you weren't Christian, you couldn't enter the church. Therefore, you built a separate building known as the baptistry to hold baptisms so that people could enter the church. And the bell tower being separate is simply an Italian style. Now, what we see is a large cathedral, uh, and here we see all three structures on the campus. Uh, we see a large cathedral with a timber roof, which is unusual for the period. We also see a clear story with very small windows. These are very small windows because in Italy, they're more concerned about the structure. So we're going to see very thick walls. And the thicker the walls, the smaller the windows must be. On, sorry, on the outside, we see a false arcade. Uh, this area behind the columns on the facade and around the sides. Now, we also have to deal with the bell tower. The bell tower, again, has these arcades, although you can actually walk around them. And it repeats the cathedral's facade. Now, the bell tower began leaning during construction. And this is because it's built basically on an ancient riverbank. Uh, so half of it is on the shore, or what would have been the shore, and half of it is right in the river. So we have two different soils. Uh, we have clay and we have sort of a silt. And this is where the problem begins. By the late 90s, it's leaning quite a bit. And in 1999, uh, it's leaning so much that they actually attach steel cables to the structure as well as a 90-ton counterweight on one side of the structure. And then they drill out material from the high side to try and bring the whole thing a little bit closer into level. And now it's an inch closer to vertical. The engineers believe that this ensures stability of the bell tower for at least another 300 years. Now we move to Florence, and we're looking at the baptistry, specifically the baptistry of San Giovanni. And this is outside the cathedral in Florence, but the cathedral is a Renaissance structure. Now, at the time, Florence is an independent city-state. And what we see is a central planned building influenced by the Pantheon. It should remind you of something. It should remind you of a lot of Byzantine structures, as well as many of the structures that we saw in Ravenna uh, in late antiquity, as well as during the Byzantine period. The green and white marble revetment, or veneer, outside of it is synonymous with Florentine Romanesque architecture. And it's likely created in part because of the commonality of the white and green marble in the area, but also influenced by Roman wall paintings. As we look at, you see those individual panels similar to the first style of Roman wall painting, where they try and make cement or concrete look like specific panels of stone. In this case, it really is the stone, but they're using that panel motif. And this creates geometric forms that subdivide the exterior and call your attention to the various architectural components, the arches, uh, the columns, etc. When we go inside, the inside is clearly Byzantine in influence with the incredible mosaics. And you see a pancarator on the ceiling right here. 
uh, Christ in majesty. So it's a phenomenal structure with this Byzantine ceiling. The walls are this marble sort of mimicking the marble that we see on the exterior. 